Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Um, I am really behind on my updates <laughs> because we were sick, but um, I want to update you guys on my Nightmare on Panning Street Project Pan, which runs from Halloween of 2023 to Halloween of 2024. And we are halfway to Halloween. <laughs> I'm so excited. So this was created by Valerie and Jalon, and you can either select six items or 13 items and it is like roulette style. So let's go ahead and talk about my first prompt, which is strangers, something that is no longer welcome in your collection. And the reason I selected this item, which is the Milk Makeup Cream Blush in the shade Work, W-E-R-K. And I want to use this 10 times. I've reached that goal. And the reason I wanted to put this in for no longer welcome is because I have two of these. I have two of the same blush. So one will probably be leaving my collection because this is a full size now. And it's like, there's a lot, there's a lot in here. Uh, a total of six grams. That's a lot of product, especially when I have a plethora of cream blushes in my collection. So one will probably leave. But this one I have met my goal on, so it will go back into my collection. Next is Hereditary, which is something that is nostalgic. And I brought in a Marc Jacobs product because of course Marc Jacobs is no longer a brand currently. Apparently they are coming back, but currently they are not. So they're nostalgic. And I brought in the mini Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade 312 Sugar Sugar. And as you can see, I have some windowing. Can you see that? Yeah, I have some windowing, but not a whole lot because I am using quite a few other lip glosses right now that I'm trying to finish before this and then I'll bring this in. I would say there's probably about an ounce of product in here. I don't know. No, not even an ounce. Maybe. I don't even know. You know what? I don't even know. I'm not even going to pretend I know. So <laughs> I want to complete that eventually. The next is the Omen, which is use a six pan palette six times. And the palette I'm bringing in is the MAC Singles Face Palette. And I've so far used it five times. I am obsessed every time I take this out and use it, which has been yesterday and today. <laughs> it is so good. It is so good. And I love it. And um, I want to just continually bring this into projects to use because the blushes are perfection. I truly love them. They're so good. Every single one of these is awesome. I love them. Um, but I still have another use to go. So that will roll out next month. Um, the next one is the ring, which is expose a ring on a pan. And I brought in the ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in the shade Starlight. These are the old, old, old ones that were like so sought after because they were like the newest and greatest thing and I wasn't able to get the one that's called Vegas I believe it was but I got this and two others and I got rid of the other ones already because this is the only one that really worked for me and this is what the shade looks like it really will only work for me in the winter time but it's really pretty and I would like to expose something <laughs> even just the pan I'm not sure if there's rings but I would like to expose something on here so I got to keep going at it. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to because there's a lot of product in here. In total, there's nine grams of product in this. So, and I didn't even start at the lowest side. <laughs> I just started at the side that I had already started using, but it's not even still the lowest side. Like I should have started over here because that would have been the lowest, but all is well. It's all fine. So I still have to have that one in. Um, and then I have the Hills Have Eyes, which is any eye product. And I brought in the Essence Eyeliner in 03 Silky Nude, which is gifted to me from Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty. And I want to use this 20 times and I have so far only used it five. Um, this is something that I'm okay keeping in for a few months. So it will take me a while to get through that, but it is a beautiful product and I would definitely repurchase that. Next is the Curse of La Llorona, which is a ghostly product with white packaging or white color. And I decided that um, I wanted to bring in the House Labs Foundation and Triclone Te Skin Tech in the shade 100 Light Neutral. This is very, very pasty. The box that this came in originally was white, just a tiny little mini white box. I hope you can see that I have used quite a substantial amount. I just traveled for work and I brought this with me and I will be traveling again next month. So I probably, if this isn't gone by then, I will probably bring this with me then as well. Um, but I want to complete this one. So that will definitely be on my list of things to get out of my collection. Oh no. It has like, it got all goopy. Hang on a second. I touched it and I don't know what happened, but there was like a 
splatter of something somewhere. But anyhow, it'll be fine. I just noticed my hands were all goopy. Um, all right. <laughs> the last one and the new one that I'm bringing in in replacement of this one that I reached my goal on. Excuse me. I rolled in Annabelle, which is a pigmented or bold blush. I actually created that prompt. I have not been saying who created what prompts and I'm terribly sorry, but um, on the Fantastic Lady site, you can actually see the list where it lists everybody who made every prompt because a lot of people will submit prompts and then Jaylon and Valerie will go through them and see which ones they want to keep in. I love this project. If you guys are watching, please bring this back. This is a definite repeat one that like everyone loves this. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> for the blush, I'm bringing in the House Labs blush in Dragon Fruit Days. This is the old version, the first version, and I have still not opened it. And now that there's a new set of blushes, I will not be purchasing because um, there's half the product and they're still the same price. So you're not going to get my money, House Labs. And plus, I really like this really strong metallic packaging with this on the back. But now the color is all of the front. So I do like this, though, even if it gets fingerprinty. But I would like to use this one 13 times. This is very much a gen shade, and I'm very excited to use that. So that will come out of here. And I can get rid of this packaging. Yay! Do I want to get rid of it? I don't usually get rid of my blush packaging, so I'll probably end up hanging on to it, to be honest. Okay, and that is everything I have for you guys. I'm just fiddling with this box now, but um, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being patient with me. I hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in the next update. Bye!